Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Will. Today's project is going to be a crushed grind peppermint. So, what you're going to see me make today is something like this. Um, this obviously I made one earlier, but I'm going to go, I'm going to um, do it a little bit different. This one I just um, I put a bit of texture on it just for for a bit of grip. But the way I done this one. You have to open. I'll just change camera. The way I done this one, you have to actually unscrew the mechanism for the fillet. Um, so it's not that awkward. You wouldn't be doing it that often, but um, I'm going to. I watched the. I watched the guy turning on YouTube. Um, fellow named Ronald Kane, and I watched him turn one. So um, has the a ball on the top. Um, a nice shape. So I'm going to have a go at that one today. So I'll put that to one side. So I have two pieces of wood selected, a bit of ash and a bit of elm. So um, this is the little insert that you buy. This is the crushed grain. So these are ceramic. They're very good quality. So this is the short one, this is the long one. So obviously this one is no, is no good. So I'm going to use the shorter one. So I'm going to use the bit of ash. Side. So that will just work out just right. I get rid of this one. So what you will need for this project is a couple of um, couple of drill bits, forstner bits. So going to need a forty-five millimeter, thirty-eight, and a twenty-five, and an extension bar. Or a long, if you have a, a longer bit, a longer portion or bit, some, sometimes you can buy them with the longer shaft. That'll work perfect. So now I'll just put these drill bits to one side. I don't need this yet. Now I said it's a piece of ash. It's twenty-four centimeters, or nine and a half inches. It's two, nearly. Yeah, it is two and a half inches um, wide. Seven millimeters. So that's six and a half centimeters or sixty-five millimeters. So now we just mount this. I just marked the centers. So first job is to get it around. It's going to start off with a one and a half inch spindle roofing gouge. down to round. So this is the size of our mechanism. So we'll just get a few lines on here. So first of all I'm going to be putting a tenon here. And I want the bottom of the crush grind. So this is going to be the bottom. So. So I want this part of the main up about about a half centimeter. So this is going to be the top. So this this section here is going to is going to have a ball on it. So I'll be parting that off. So this part of the mechanism will be up in the ball. So so that's so I part need to part him off here. I watched that video the other day, well, maybe a week ago, so I'm just trying to remember. So I'm just trying to wing it. Yeah, so I'll part him there. And so I need a tenon on, on this end as well. Right, so I'll part him off.
pop this in the chuck before I go any further. So now I'm just going to flip this around because as you can see I marked this as the bottom so just so as I have my grain alignment. So now I'm ready to start drilling but I'm after making one little mistake. I have this the wrong way around because I'll be drilling all the way through the centre of this so I'll flip them back. So just want to clean up this end here first. So that's nice and clean and I it's undercut slightly as well and I just put a little dimple just for so the drill bit can find its way in. So our first hole is 25mm drill bit. So Jacob's chuck. So I'm going to drill in about three quarters of the way, maybe a little bit less, so somewhere somewhere up to there. So I only need to go to there. So I'm just drilling that seven seven hundred RPM. Now, just going to flip the piece around. Okay, I'm just bring up my tailstock, make sure I'm lined up correctly. I am. So now this is the bottom, so we're going to remove the tenon and we can start drilling for the mechanism. So back to my half inch spindle gouge. Again, just making sure I undercut it very slightly, which I have. So now I need the 45 millimeter drill bit next. So now I need to go in 19 millimeters. So you can just measure and put a bit of tape on on this on the drill bit or mark it with a sharpie or something like that but on this particular lathe I have a a digital readout here so it can it'll tell me how far I'm drilling. So I'm finished with this one for now. So now on to the 38mm drill bit. So what we have done so far is we've gone in with the 45 mil. So that's just allowing this to go up. So the 38 mil now is actually the, the opening for this. So that will slot up into that. So I'll be drilling probably up somewhere here. Just measure this guy now and see how far I need to go up. So about another 38 millimeters from where I've went in. So as I said, I went in. I went in 19 millimeters. I actually went 20. That don't matter. So I need to go then another. So 38 millimeters. So. Sounds like a plan. So I can just run that into there. So 
which was perfect. Swap out this drill bit again. And if you can remember, we drilled in with the 25 mil from the other side, so I need to continue that hole all the way through now. Now, there's what we've gotten so far. That's the first thing we did. We drilled in with the 25 mil in halfway or a little more, you could go three quarters of the way. Then we came in with the 45 and we went in 19 millimeters. So that's your first step. And then we went in another 38 millimeters. So that is for to allow the mechanism to go in. So the mechanism will go in as far as there give or take. So now, on to the next stage. So now, what I need to make now is a small little jam chuck for this. I could probably put it in expansion mode in, in some smaller jaws, but I don't want to risk cracking the wood. So what I'll do is I'll make just a little jam chuck and I'll bring up the tail center, little cone center for here. So. Perfect. So now we can just bring up our cone center. We can tighten up. So now we can focus on the shape. This is the top. So I was just checking to make sure because I have a little bit of grain. Oh, wrong camera. So this is the top. And you can see my grain match will line up reasonable, hopefully. So my mechanism is going to be up as far as here. So I won't be going too, too thin here. So let me keep up a little bit, maybe. Put a, put a bead and taper it in a little bit here, something to that effect. So my pencil line. So I don't want to take that down much more. Yeah, happy enough for that little bead. Yeah, it's not too bad. I might define the bead a little bit more. I can go in a bit more here also. I think that looks okay. So now, I'm happy enough to sand it. So I'll sand this up and I'll take you back as soon as I have it done. 
So, sanding all finished, just doing the last little the little yellow scotch white pad. Just doing the last little rub. So now as you can see it's sanded up quite nice. It's a nice little bit of ash, some nice colour. So I'm just going to put sanding sealer on for now. It's Chestnut Products um, sanding sealer. I mix it with tinners in around 50-50, give or take. I believe in the inside of the wood natural. You could put all sorts of shapes on on these pepper mills just being mindful of where you drilled in so now on to the next section which is the top so get rid of this jam chuck so now I have, my, have a jam chuck now made for the next one I drill so I'll keep him just, just right on at the size. So now on to the top section. So that's just flat. I want to undercut it a slight little bit. So I'll take another little bit. And a little dimple for our drill bit. So we want more hole to drill. So we're going to drill um, a 25 mil hole now. So that is for to receive this section here. Switch to the overhead. So I need to go in enough to receive this this section here. Maybe on a little bit to spare. So I measured. I need about 34 millimeters. Now that's the last hole we can drill. So now we can take this guy off. So as I said, what we need to do now is make another little small jam chuck like we did for the first first part. But I have the one from the first one I made, so that's pretty close. I'll have to take a little bit off. So now we can do a little bit of shaping on, on the top. So I'll just bring up my tail stock because I still have the little hole here at the end. So just to keep that lined up. I know I've drilled up 34 millimeters, so I can take it, I can round that down a bit more.
checking my shape so I'm happy enough with that shape so I go with that so now I'll just nibble away another little bit of this and I can take the tail stock away then nice and gently tiny little scrape to skew to blend those lines in so now it's ready for sanding so I'll get this sanded and I'll take you back when I have it done so all sanded up now I'm just putting a little bit of sanding sealer on Again, just on the outside, I'm going to leave the inside bare. I'll just get a couple of coats on this. So now our sanding sealer is dry. So now, time for assembly. So. There's our piece, and our grain lines up, which is nice. See it there. So I'm just going to offer up the mechanism to it. So I know in the bottom how far up it's going to go. So I can see here, you probably can't see it, but I know by looking at that, that the shaft is a little bit too long. So. I'm going to need to cut about a quarter of an inch off. So I'm just going to take it over to the vise and take take about a quarter of an inch off with the hacksaw. So I should be back in one second when I have that done. So now I took it over to the vise and as you can see I just cut a quarter of an inch off and just filed it, chamfered it so as it received this. So now we're going to start getting it together. So this guy goes in here but what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix a little bit of um, two-part epoxy and put it on just to keep it keep it in. So it's a Gorilla Glue two-part epoxy. I don't need much. put a little bit in here first so now get this guy inserted I'll have to get something just to push it in. So now I just came up with a quick fix. I just drilled a little hole in this and pushed it in. I need to go just another little small bit. That's it. So I can put it back together now. Now that's that piece done. So this guy is next. So again, I'm just going to put a little bit of epoxy in the top here. wipe off any excess glue. So 
No, there we have it. I said you, they're fully adjustable. You can adjust them here for how coarse you want the, the grindings. So one one last little job. Just want to give this a quick buff. So I'll just clear up here and I'll get the buffing wheel out. So now there we have it, all shined up, our little pepper mill. And our grain, our grain matched up as well. There. So which is nice. And it's the mechanism is from crush grind. So as I said, it's going to be a pepper mill. So I have another one and I'll make an, up another one for salt as well. So just have a matching pair. So um, yeah, I enjoyed making that. It was a nice, nice interesting piece to turn. Um, the only downside is, as I said, you, you need um, three drill bits. So but still, it was a nice, nice, interesting little project. So anyway, guys, if you like this one, you might um, hit the like and give me a subscribe maybe and hit that notification bell as well and it'll let you know when I pop up a further video and leave me a comment also and let me know what you think and um, my 4,000 subscriber mark is coming up very close so um, make sure you're subscribed and you leave a comment because there will be a giveaway so take care everyone bye for now